how's it going bros oh my god it's been a while hasn't it oh i'm so sorry this is school and art school has been really taking over my life seriously um just working on animations and stuff but anyways that is not the point today we have a video um speed draw for the as you saw from the intro the art extravaganza inktober <clears throat> Um, special kind of thing um, we as the inktober I uh, sorry oh, I can't concentrate the uh, art stuff against the team really we really wanted to keep together um, <clears throat> a little bit more and so we decided to do an inktober themed Halloween -y, um, theme for inktober and um, so if you don't know what Art Stravaganza is or who we are, Art Stravaganza was a artist collaboration team for the summer um, created by the JMI Creations and it has members such as me, uh, Nyrell Busby, Amanda Elise, and Lynn Doodles. And we have another member that we invited to our team. Um, Monique Renee, so please go check out her videos as well as she's now a part of our team and that's so exciting. I really love her art and her watercolors are spectacular. So um, I'll put a link to all of their channels including Monique's and um, yeah, we it was supposed to be like an only summer thing but we've grown together so much so that we have wanted to <clears throat> really keep going with it so here we are October Halloween so um about my piece um I did struggle a little bit with this um you know originally I was wanting to do like a historical witch I was wanting I was researching witches I was planning to do some Salem witches and then I went to the Blair witch since the movie came out the new movie and um I just couldn't really find any inspiration um, so I decided to go maybe maybe something I'm not so comfortable with which is kind of like storybook child kind of child story book kind of feel because you know I when I think Halloween I think scary but you know there's always that kind of cute aspect to it as well so <clears throat> I've been really sorry hold on <coughs> Oh man, I can't clear my throat. Um, I've been really into personifying animals. I don't know. I think maybe it's like a Zootopia kind of inspiration thing, but I think mainly it's because uh, I've been like around animals my entire life and like now since I'm in Minneapolis and everything and I'm in an apartment on campus I can't have animals so I've been like kind of animalist in a way and I just I just kind of miss animals I miss my cat and my dog so I think I've been like compensating a little bit uh, by just drawing more animals and maybe uh, having more animal characters, if you will. <clears throat> but anyways, um, so originally, what was this gonna be? Like, oh, I, w I still wanted to stick with the witch kind of thing. And I was originally going to, to do a bat, and I was like, eh. So I decided to pick a crow because crows <clears throat> are, absolutely an essence of Halloween they're like the most popular bird um, during Halloween time and also they are my spirit animal I I relate a lot to crows and I for if I were to be reincarnated I would definitely want to be a crow so um, crows are one of my three spirit animals um, so I decided to pick that so I um, wanted to illustrate kind of like this Victorian-esque um, magical family if you will um, the bird on the left is kind of like the father 
or you can see it as the butler or grandfather or whatever. I illustrated it as like a father figure in a way. And then the little tiny baby bird on the right is like a, a witch in training. So she's kind of like showing off to her dad a little bit. And if you notice, she's holding like a little black cat plushie. I don't know, I thought it was cute at the time. So yeah, that's basically <clears throat> that's basically all about my illustration. Um, I def um so for the month of November, my school has an art sale. Um, it's a very proclaimed art sale. There's a lot of private uh, organizations that come and buy artwork from uh, students, but um, they also have. Uh, an artist alley kind of section um, and I guess it really does well with uh, the third day which it's open to the public so I have wanted to participate I I've been thinking of stuff I could submit and I think I might do prints of this one mostly because it's very friendly I guess and I just I really like it I really kind of worked a little bit harder on this than I should um, I put a lot of thought into this as well. So, um, yeah, um, I think if I accidentally maybe, I might purposely print a little bit more than I should so I can put them in my shop. So look forward to prints of this maybe in my shop and maybe more prints in the future. <laughs> Um, because I do have access to a print shop now, so that's exciting. So, um, anyways, uh, plans for the future. We do plan on extending a, a, a lot more in the art extravaganza themes, and we are planning to do a, a Christmas, a, a Christmas, <laughs> a Christmas special as well. Um, so that'll be super, super exciting. Um, I am so ready for Christmas. I mean, Halloween isn't even here yet, but I'm ready for Christmas. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about. Um, I've been posting some of my animations that I made on YouTube, so I hope you guys have been watching that as well. And, um, yeah, look forward to more videos, hopefully. Probably not soon, but hopefully and look forward to more uh, animations as well as I'll be working on some um, some final projects so yeah I'm currently working on my final project my animation my project for, my final project for my animation class so that'll be exciting as well it'll be like an actual story and I'll put a lot of work to, into it since we have a lot more weeks to work on it so yeah um, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys have a um, an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, wherever the world you may be. And be sure to check out everybody else's video and everything else they made, especially Monique Renee, since she is the newest member in our team. And yeah, love you guys so much. Bye.